Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am Pete, this is the Ever Canadian, and it's time for uh, for me to give my analog pocket a second chance. I did a video a while ago why I was thinking about selling this, and I was really tired of it, and I did my honest opinions on it. And I gotta tell you, man, that video went over like a... It, I got lots of views on it, no doubt about it, because it was a controversial statement. No YouTuber will ever say anything negative about this. It's ridiculous. I'm like the only one that ever said anything negative about this. I've had so many negative comments. It's my, it's the video that has the least amount of likes on it. I think it's only like 47% people liked it. So I really upset the fandom of the analog ecosystem, I guess, and the analog team. And for me, it was just basically down to comfort. I had trouble being comfortable with it. It was missing a lot of features that I thought would come with it. And maybe I was naive into think, thinking that. I would have gotten a full product at launch, but none doesn't matter. I can ex I can change my mind, so I didn't sell it. First of all, I was going to get a custom GBA made, but that fell through, and so I'm not selling it. I'm holding on to it, and I've got the latest firmware from January here, and I thought it'd be cool to give you some of the reasons why I'm holding on to it now. And uh, so we're just going to go through it. But first, one of the main reasons is because I want to share with you just the the fact that I am. A handheld player at heart. I am somebody who loves handheld gaming. It's my my like. Come to, look at this channel. I'm stuttering a little bit. I'm sorry, but go look at my channel. This channel is dedicated to handheld gaming, pretty much. That's that's my bread and butter. I love it. I grew up playing uh, mostly handheld gaming. Once I got my hands on uh, uh, a handheld that I really like, which was the original PSP and DS. But before that, I kind of played a little bit of the Tiger Electronics and back in the day in the early 80s the handheld gaming variants and you know Game and & Watch and stuff like that. So anyway but I just want to quickly show you some of my Game Boy Advance and some of the biggest reasons why I want to give this sucker another chance. So this is some of my loose collections for analog pockets here and this is how I store my loose games. So I've got two binders here and basically I store them like this. I basically have them in card sleeves and they're alphabetical and I can go through. So, you know, like I mentioned, it's time for me to give my pocket a second chance because I have quite a few actual games that I want to play. I'm actually going to take the flash out because I want to try that in just a little bit. But yeah, tons of cool games here. And I have two binders full of, uh, well, not full, but... I have quite a few here and I keep them out allies and as I add more games I find you know that I've got lots of room to add them in which is pretty cool so this is why like after so long with the pocket that I've decided that you know what I want to play more of these games on the channel and it's time that I kind of give it a second second look a second chance so yeah let's get back to the main video so you can see I've got tons and tons of uh, GBA games and I've got another binder for uh, original Game Boy games, but mostly GBA. So the biggest reason why I didn't really like this system and I'm still having trouble with it is the place of the shoulder buttons really and the fact that they're small and a little uncomfortable because I primarily want it for a GBA player and I know it was built for Game Boy, okay? I know it was built for Game Boy. So I want to put, I want to put this game in here and have it ready to go, but I updated the firmware. And um, anyway, a new feature has been added. So the library is the biggest thing I was looking for when I when I really, outside of playing amazing, like play, playing your games at an amazing quality level, which this device does, I was looking for the library feature. Old analog and press to take a screenshot. All right. Press start. Okay. All right. So the library was one of the features that I really wanted to explore. And... Maybe my hopes up were a little bit more than most people, but um, I was open because I always felt like when I heard the library and read the kind of marketing descriptions of it, I always had this kind of warm feeling of like the library, library of Alexandria and stuff like that. Just a, a repository of video game information. It's not quite that, but it looks like they're putting it in now. So open FPGA. I know a lot of people love that. That's not really my jam. I play my original carts, so... So the library is a reference level database to catalog your game collection and the games you play. A scholarly 
cataloging of the entirety of the video game industry. See, this, this excites me and finally it's here. But how is it here? I have no idea. Every time you play a game cartridge, it will automatically be added to your library, showing the date added and total, total game play time. For the best experience, we just adding your generated game images onto your SD card, please. All right. All right, so that's the library. So let's play Flash. Play, so Justice League Heroes of Flash. So I don't have an image for it, game details. So let's go into the library. Press to cycle between A and Z, okay. Let's just play the game. So I was hoping that it was going to be, oh, memories. That's, I guess, where you can put your I don't know what the memories are. I forget what that is. Um, save stage, perhaps? Press any button. All right, let's just play this a little while. So, back to this. Now, library's in there, which is good, but I really wanted to give it a second chance because I gotta be honest with you, this console is pretty amazing. And I never did say I had a problem with the visuals on it, or, but I, I gotta tell you, it's a well-built piece of hardware. Way forward, great studio. I just kind of wish it was the other way, it was a GBA, but hey, I knew what I bought. So that's why I'm giving it a chance. I really want to play my game library, my binder of games, but also give them another chance. And that's what gaming is all about for me. And a lot of people disagree with, with, you know, the fact that I had problems with this system at launch. But I still find it a little uncomfortable, but I'm getting more than 20 minutes in. But look how good that looks, right? I know I'm rambling a little bit here, but... I really debated whether to do this video or not, to be honest with you, because I felt like the comments, I gotta be honest with you in my last video, like I thought I was being very polite, nice, but some of the comments I got were downright gross. <laughs> well, you know, that's the internet. Don't put yourself out there if you can't take the heat, right? Man, this looks good though. I gotta tell you, man, this really excites me. Okay, all right. I haven't played this game in so long. The Flash. I love Flash. He's one of my favorite. Uh, next to Superman, he's my second favorite uh, comic book. Uh, be, uh, superhero. I don't know why I love Flash so much. I'm looking forward to the new movie. I know a lot of people had the De Ezra Miller, you know, things like that. Now this is with the brand. This is with my own cart. I wonder what it does with the detect any of the. Uh, my EverDrive, because I've got a lot of my ROMs I own on my EverDrive, just for convenience mostly. This game is really fun, actually. I really like this. Oh, look at that. I flashed a little. Sweet. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, this is super. Like, the quality of the audio, the vi everything about the analog pot is great. It's just a comfort thing. I get... The fastest man alive. I am. I just like that. I still struggle with getting using shoulder buttons, but a lot of games don't use the shoulder buttons, so I'm okay with that. I don't know why it's all... Oh, I stuttered it. Yeah, by using the right shoulder button. Alright, so let's get this. But yeah, I mean, I've been slowly getting used to it over the last, uh, last three, four months. I've been playing it a little bit more, and now my hands doesn't clamp up until at least 30, 40 minutes in. And like, you know, just look at my thumb. My thumb is like halfway the size of the system. I don't have huge hands, but, you know, they're, they're, they're bigger than normal, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So, let me just pause that. All right. Quit it out. All right. Now, let's go back to... Curve. Okay, I'll go check in the library. Okay, so there it is, three minutes played. Cool, no images though. Hopefully you can get the images soon. So one of the cool things in here now, they added into memories. You got your, you can do screenshots in here uh, and you can do your save state. So you can see I've got a, quite a few Baldur's Gate save states going on there. Um, and I put in Harry Potter, but my library's got Justice League in here. And you can go in there and play it, remove from your library, but you can go back to your library. So the library you build by yourself, right? So we're going to put in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Just put that one in there, as you can see right there. And uh, yeah, this is this is what I wanted to do. This is why I'm giving you another, another chance. I want to play more of these games on my channel. I want to feature more of the pocket and just share my honest opinions with it. And 
just continue to learn to love the system. That's basically what I want to do. Harry, Ron, or Hermione. I, you know who I always go? Everybody says, I always pick Harry. I just like Harry. If you're going to play a Harry Potter game, you got to play as Harry, right? The game is just fantastic. Like, all the games on the GBA, I, all the ones I own are really good. And Harry Potter is pretty popular right now with Hogwarts Legacy. Check out the channel. I mean, man. I love the fact that majority of the games on the GBA are kind of top-down action RPG style games. A red cape. Oh no, where'd it come from? Is that a bugger? Okay, put him in the cold room. Oh, let's see levitation one. Come here. Come here. Okay, come on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what levitate is. Anyway, the fact that it's here, I'm getting used to it and having some fun with it. That's what it's all about. Anyway, I just wanted to give an update on this and uh, talk a little bit about why I'm giving it another chance. And just to follow up to my first video, which, like, you know, a lot of people <laughs> felt very, uh, very strongly about. Once again, I'm Pete. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um... Do you own one of these things? What's your honest opinions on them? Are you loving it? Are you hating it? Are you disappointed? Are you not disappointed? Let me know. Bye, everyone.